Okay, I was looking over this paperwork. It's supposed to be the policy terms and policy of that Metro. Now, as you said, it has, this one has Metro TM. But on here, it has Metro PCS. So which one is it, Metro PCS or Metro, um, just Metro? But I want to know what government officials, uh, Better Business Bureau, or anyone gave them this kind of sweet deal. Gave any company. And all of them seem to have this same sweet deal. I noticed that with uh, Google in 2014, that they have the right to give you products and merchandise, and they don't have to um, service them. They don't have to do anything. They just sell it to you, no matter what happens. There's no uh, recourse you have. Who gave Google or any of these companies such a sweet deal where well, they can take our money and don't give us good products and charge us all kind of fees and services? For fees and services. Now it says here that you can take your new device and service may return your new device and service refund. But here's the catcher. No refunds or credits or fees other than the monthly service. So they'll take your fees and your credits and your, and the um, only thing they'll give you is monthly service back. But then they don't do that. They can take your activation fees, reactivation fees, device charges fees, etc. Under any circumstances, the device must be returned within seven days and no more than one hour talk time. Now, the device must be returned to the original place of purchase with the company device and service payment receipts. And as I've shown you, those receipts paid, paid, paid really, really quick. I, pay, I had one that paid it within two days. Um, the customer returned the device to the original uh, store. Now, a lot of times you buy a phone and they're not in that area anymore. So why would you have to like this device I bought in San Diego? There's no way I can turn it to the original store. And if you do an online uh, credit, you have to mail it in. That means you'll be with a, a device for a long time and you have to pay shipping and handling. Devices change and upgrades you uh, are non-refundable. And uh, here it says, customer who wish to purchase a new device in store or online within 90 days. Well, I'm not going to go into that, but return payment policy. So if you, you have your check, electronic bank refund transfers, payments, including debit, or automated uh, clearing, house payment. So if you go into the store, any other payment is dishonored or returned, we may charge you up to $35 on the maximum allowed under expensive law. Now, who made the law saying that even if you return it and try to get your money back, they can take $35, which leaves you really nothing. So what laws gave them that sweet deal? Now, I'm going to try to locate this place here on India or Indio, and it's a Metro PCS, as I was saying, who is who? Is it a Metro or is it a Metro PCS? Who is this trademark name under? Now, this is something I've seen on all the companies, too, that they do. This is... Just gonna move that. I don't know how they got on there, but... By activating using Metro service, you agree to the terms and conditions of service. Metro requires arbitration or disputes unless you am out within 30 days of activating details. 
Now, they say the details in the full version can be viewed at MetroPCS.com and the terms. Now, listen, the Easter judges used to tell you, before you sign the contract, read the false fine print. They don't give us the fine print anymore to agree on these terms. Because you have to, once you purchase a product, once you purchase this, then you'll see the terms of service and their policies. So there's no fine print for you to read. Because most people would not sign the contract where they can take your services, don't have to give you any refunds, and you have to take it back to the original place, and they can charge you all these fees. Now, there's another point I wanted to talk about. Um, it says that if you are not required to pay uh, these fees, where is that at? If you're not required to pay these fees, you still have to pay them anyway. Hold on, I'm going to pause it and find that piece. Okay, here's it says. You will pay all taxes and regulatory fees even if your rate plan is inclusive of taxes and regulatory fees. And Metro may uh, terminate your service if you fail to pay on the time. Or they can just um, terminate your service for any conditions at all. The violations of their terms. Now, they say the abuse of your phone, the abuse of, uh, and here's another point, Metro also provide customers, Metro, besides, Metro have the ability to place charges on your bill, the th these certain parties, certain parties besides Metro have the ability to place charges on your bill. Isn't that something? So there's other people who can place charges on your bill. These third parties. These third parties. Nobody would agree to these kind of terms. The third parties could pay and you can't get your money back. What laws gave them these rights? Isn't this crazy? That they can take money, make you pay fees and taxes or regulatory fees, even if their your area doesn't require it? And they can have third, that's amazing. Third parties that you know nothing about can put charges on your account. Here's a good one, and I'm saying this. Uh, I've seen this in insurance companies um, and other places where they don't want you to hire a lawyer. They say you waive your right to a jury trial in disputes with Metro. Your disputes will be decided by an arbitrary. Uh, arbor, arbor, well, now, the arbitrators are people they pick. They're their people. You waive the right to institute or participate in a class. <laughs> excuse me, class <coughs> clean coming up. A class action litigation against Metro. Now, you can hire an attorney, but this is what I've seen when they hire an arbitrator. If the arbitrator which is their person, decides against you, then you lose and you have to pay their attorney fees and their court costs. Isn't that something? They're arbitrated. You can't hire an attorney. But if you lose, you have to pay court costs and their lawyer's fees. Isn't that something? Assurance companies, 
all these companies want you to have an arbitrator because these are people they picked who will make sure you lose and then you'll have to pay their attorney fees which it says you can't hire attorney all right guys